This video is going to demonstrate some of the functions of Logos Bible software running on a rooted Nook Touch. I'm going to open up my Logos app, and the first thing it takes me to is my library. Since I'm offline, it, it just shows the books that I have downloaded. So I can open up any Bible. I'm going to open up the Net Bible. And it's going to take me to the last place that I was in before. There's a couple of ways to navigate around in the Bible. I can um, get to a table of contents that gives me all the different um, books in the Bible and then I can click on a chapter and then on a verse and then it shows up. The other way is of course just to type in the reference in the top there. Um, it has all the all the footnotes and everything that you can just click on and get the footnotes and to turn pages is very easy to turn across and you turn pages that way. Okay. Um I can get back to my library. Here. Okay, most of the functionality if you're not just gonna read a book, you need to have your Wi Fi on. So I'm gonna turn on my Wi Fi. And then it'll immediately update my library to all the books available in my Lagos Scholars Edition. So it says it's connected. Now I have a lot of different books um, available. So now in such a bigger library, I need to use the search function um, to find a book that I want to open. So I'll search for a book here by the author. Here. Okay, then I have a lot of different options here for different books that I can read. And I can turn open up the book, and again, it just saves the last place that I was in. Um, same kind of deal here, where I can access a table of contents, and I can go to whatever chapter I want, or whatever page I want, and it'll switch um, to the contents that way. Okay. Let's go back to the the main library again. Okay, let's open up a Bible here. So I'm going to do the SBL Greek New Testament. Okay. So as you can see, the Greek text renders just fine. Um, if I just kind of hover on a word it starts looking up the word and it gives me the lemma and then it gives me an option to click down here to do a word study. As you can see the Greek text doesn't always render correct um, but I can look at it in my in different lexicon. It's a bit slower when it runs off the internet but still functional. Then you get the entry for, for the book there. So you can return. thing we can do when we're in in our text, whether it's English or Greek or Hebrew, uh, by going from the menu, I can do a text comparison, and it'll give me the different versions that I already have set for text comparison. I can also have access to my passage guide. We'll give me my different commentaries that are available um, that I can go to my new international Greek textual commentary here. <laughs> and it opens the commentary up and you navigate through the commentary just like any other book. Um, 
there's also, let's see, that's about the main things. Let's, the main thing I use it for is just to read through books, so it's easier um, just to download the book to your device, and then you can just read it as you go, and that's the best thing um, that I think it's used for. So whatever book you happen to be reading, just make sure you download it to your device. And then you can just start reading wherever you want. And it's really convenient, much better than the reading on the computer. And you can do it for a long time. So that's a brief video. Hope it's helpful.